example this now is looking at the 2D shape creation tool here so we access that as with the others by clicking here this is perhaps one of the most or the most complicated of the tools to use we are open up here first of all at this tool here to generate a particular shape so we see the choices that we have here uh, we're going to use a triangle it's perhaps the simplest to use the first thing we have to do is to place in here uh, some points for our triangle and so let's say we'll start with the point here 6 1 so x is 6 uh, y is 1 so we want to make a triangle 6 1 so we'll make another point say over here at uh, 1 3 and we'll make another point somewhere around about up here let's say at the point 6 7 So we then generate the triangle, which then places the triangle we just uh, had here on the on the graph itself. So that's how you simply generate and get an object on the on the graph. Uh, down here is just the usual thing with the uh, the grid settings that you've got here: maximum and minimum for drawing of the grid. Um, however, there are a few other things here. This uh, the labels that we have on here can be for the the points here or for the uh, angles. Uh, it's not going to show up just at the moment, so I'll come back at that at the moment. We'll go first of all to the shape properties. So here we want uh, a name for the shape. Uh, now if I can insert the points here if I want to. Uh, I'm just going to click on it though and it automatically calls it triangle 1 and puts in the points that uh, were involved. Now here we've got a whole lot of features of the triangle. Uh, so here are the three angles of the triangle. We could have students try to calculate them or some if they wanted to. But here it will actually tell you what those angles are. Uh, the length of each side here, we can click on this. Notice how that was highlighted. So it tells us the lengths of each of the sides. So we can use this to look at any of the particular sides and it highlights whichever one we're looking at. So if I click on B, uh, AB there, it highlights AB, its length is 5. What's the perimeter? Well, we know adding up these would give you the perimeter, so that also is listed here. Uh, what about the area? That's also calculated for you. Um, and so that's the basic uh, idea here of, of the properties. We can uh, change any of those properties uh, if we want to. So if I wanted to shift A maybe over to here, so I'll just change that to 8, click update the shape and it changes the triangle to whatever it is that I want and changes all these accordingly. All right, so that's how we, we uh, add shapes, we pick the, sh pick the shape, we have to first of all get the kids to put in a, uh, a general shape. You can just do this roughly because as you saw you can modify the shape in here uh, as, as you want to do and put things to wherever you like to create various types of shapes once you've got the basic shape up there. Now this is a more difficult thing to use. We can do tra the following transformations. Um, enlarge is fairly obvious. Enlarge it you know, from um, the point uh, zero, 0 by a factor of whatever it is that we want to put in here. That's fairly straightforward. Here the others are uh, not so straightforward. Translation perhaps is. Uh, we can shift the whole thing horizontally. Uh, let's shift it 2. Uh, in fact we're going to shift it minus 2 because I don't want it too far to the right hand side. And vertically, well we won't shift it at all vertically. And now we click the translation and it will keep a copy of the old position and show you the new one. So we do that and we can see how much it shifted by us translating it horizontally by minus 2. And we do the same thing there, shift any any place that we want to, shift it up 2 as well. This is going to move it minus 2 as well as 2, so 2, two across, 2 up, translate, and we can see uh, what that does. Now here, clear all ghosts will take us from where, that was the original one, it's going to leave us with the last one. Uh, so if I click clear ghosts, and it leaves us with this triangle here. If I go back to the shape properties, uh, you'll notice all these uh, have updated. 
and so A is now at the point 0.43 so that's followed what's happened uh, to our graph. Back to transformations. Rotation here the number of degrees you can insert whatever you like in there and rotate it but it's a rotated around what? Well this is the point here that you're rotating so at the moment it's going to rotate around the origin so if I just keep clicking the rotate button we'll see it's rotating around the point zero zero I can keep that until I get it back to where it originally was and clear all ghosts. What though if I wanted to rotate it around one of these points say around point A well that's the point four three so I would put in four three and now it will rotate around about around the point A as you can see it's now doing. So clear the clear lows. So that's the rotate and kids can clearly see uh, what that particular transformation does and the importance of saying rotate around what point. Uh, so we could play around with that and do a few investigations. Here the reflection tool. Here what you'll be given is two points uh, of a line. So uh, draw a line through the point zero, 0, at the origin here and here it's just set up by default to the point one zero, which is here. Uh, in other words, we're talking about doing a reflection here. This was representing a reflection about the x-axis. So if I click reflect here, all this point, point C is going to come down to here, point B is going to come down to here, point A down to here, and I'm going to reflect, and sure enough that's exactly what it does, reflection around the x-axis. Just going to put it back again and clear all ghosts. Now we'll do it the other way. Let's do a reflection uh, around the y-axis. In other words, from the point x is equal to 1, 0, and the point 0, 0. And of course, that was silly, wasn't it? Did the wrong thing there. Let's try that, might work a bit better. So in other words, through the point uh, 0, 1, and 0, 0. So that's along this line here, the y-axis. So if I click reflect, and you can see it's now reflecting about the y-axis. Uh, I can do whatever I like. Uh, I can do through here, um, and this would be a reflection through the line y equals x, uh, useful for inverses. So reflect there, and we, we have that line y equals x. So that's probably the most complicated uh, for them to use in the, the transformations. So that's uh, basically fits the the uh, well, that tool and the investigations that we can uh, use it for.